What does it feel like now, having gotten that? Uh, you know, there, there was definitely a lot of pressure on me coming in with, uh, you know, a four-fight losing streak. Um, but those are all ranked guys at this point. You know, they're all in the top 15. Um, but still, they, it, they weren't the best performances from me. Um, and, you know, I, I don't... Uh, I don't like to make excuses. You know, I had my opportunities in every one of those fights, and um, I was unable to capitalize. Uh, but uh, the, the the journey that I've been on, um, it's it's tough for me because I don't want people to know. You know, I don't I don't want people to know what I'm going through. Um, I don't want them to experience it themselves. I don't want them to have a loved one experience it. Um, and the the most messed up part is that my Lyme disease is not that bad comparatively to some people that I've met um, but uh, you know it, it sucks and and the last six or eight months I felt pretty damn good um, and I've been able to, to train in a way that gets me ready to do my best inside the octagon and, and uh, that's something I hadn't been able to do in a, in a long time way too long and then in, in 2015 I had to stop lifting I had to stop doing my strength and conditioning because I didn't have enough energy. If I did a, a light little circuit or I, I lifted, a little, you know, benched 185 pounds, I'd feel like I lifted a boulder off of my chest. I wouldn't be able to move for three days. Um, so I kind of just backed away from that. You know, I was getting in some running and, you know, doing some of the longer distance stuff, actually trying to take a little weight off at that point because my weight cut started to get a little harder too. Um, so I stepped away from that, but my ability to push, my ability to, to recover quickly and go hard and get in guys' faces is what has won me fights. In those 30, 30 fights in the UFC, that has won me. The majority of the fights that I've won is pressure, you know? And uh, I've finally been able to, to train in a way that allows me to use that pressure as a weapon. And uh, it's, uh, you know, put a lot of pressure on me because it was like, well, I know what I can do. I, I've been doing it in the room for the last, you know, couple months now. Like, I need to do it inside the octagon. I felt like I was going to do it in April. Uh, and then I got poked in the eye, and then I saw three of them, and they need me in the face. You know? And, I mean, that's just the way that it goes. And, and yeah. I was a little salty about that one, because I fought guys that would acknowledge it, but I fought plenty that probably wouldn't, and he didn't, and that's just the way that it goes. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, you know, have that level of sportsmanship. So. What was it that's been holding you back? You Lyme disease. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I finally, I wasn't sure when I got bit by a tick. Uh, in my lifetime, I found one attached to me, and that was when I was like 14. Um, but like I said, I, I've been able to, to work with a couple organizations and learn a lot more myself about it. Um, and uh, knowing what I know now, I, I can pretty much guarantee that I was probably bit in like late May or June of 2013. Um, but then being an athlete and being in shape and continuing to work out helped my body kind of beat it a little bit and, and fend it off. And uh, it finally, in like 2015, started to get a little much. And that's when I started getting really bad joint pain. Um, and, then, and then the brain fog kicked in. And uh, it was just, uh, it was a pain in the ass. And it was all things that I thought were associated with being a professional fighter. You know, it's like, ah, oh, well. I, I say the wrong word every now and then. Uh, you know, I use my head as a weapon. <laughs> what do you expect? Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was one of those things that I, I didn't even test positive for it. My doctor's like, we're gonna we're gonna try clinical. You know, we put you on doxycycline. If you feel better in a week, it's like you have Lyme disease. And uh, it was pretty significant the the, the difference that I felt, um, particularly right away, and it just kind of the uh, like the brain fog one of the things that they associate with it. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to Alzheimer's, which is scary. But, uh, it, you know, it kind of lifted to where I could, I could actually get things done because for a while there, like, I would, I'd go to clean my garage and just stand there for a little while and not really know where to start, not know what to do. Just, it sounded like it was quite a process to get to it, the diagnosis. It was, and, and the... the, the the process to the diagnosis was the fact that I'm hard-headed and stubborn and associated my symptoms, really bad knee pain, uh, I was getting a lot of numbness in my hands, um, 
but I've, you know, I've had, I've had neck, neck injuries and, you know, I've had compression fractures in my back. So I'm, I'm, I was, I was expecting, you know, something like that. And uh, it just turns out that this, a lot of the symptoms that I was feeling were because of the Lyme disease. And, um, you know, at that point it kind of had a pretty good hold and uh, it, it has been, you know, difficult to, uh, to kind of get to this point. So Jim, I mean, just even talking to you right now, it, you can tell it feels like there's a weight that was lifted up. Huge shoulders. weight, dude. Huge uh, weight. Uh, you know, like like I said, I I, I know what I'm capable of doing. Um, I, I I know who I am, and you know, and I've I've been ranked in the top five in the world, and nothing has changed for me. You know, I'm still that guy, and and I've been training and and busting my ass, but. I, like I said, I always felt like I was running in water, and uh, I finally, in the last few months, feel like I'm kind of breaking out of it, um, you know. And it's, unfortunately, it's one of those things. This that dirty little bug might come back and kick my ass again, um, but uh, you know, I'm going to be diligent and, and try to get the most I can out of it. Is that like a lifelong battle, or is that something that it, can potentially? It really is potentially. You know, um, it's really stubborn. It's, uh, it's the, the, the bacteria is actually it's faster than your T cells, so you have to you have to take other medications and stuff like that to kind of help it out, and help your body out. And, you know, I've, I've been uh, I've been supplementing pretty well, and, and uh, you know, it, uh, the basic stuff though. It's like you know, you, you got to make sure you take your vitamin C, you know, like and all that stuff. But uh, actually, um, I started taking uh, some chaga mushroom stuff because it's supposed to be help your body create more T-cells. Um, I, I feel like that might have been it. So you just you finish, you just your, sorry. finishing Alex White in the way you did it in a couple minutes and it was a highlight real finish. When's the last time you felt that good in the octagon? It's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Uh, you know, uh, I was nervous going in. I was really nervous going in. Uh, because of the pressure, because of the pressure that I put on myself and just, the, like I said, four or five losing streak and, you know. Um, but I, I, haven't, I haven't been as explosive of an athlete inside the octagon uh, in a few years. Was there a time, ever time during that losing streak where you, you doubted whether you would ever be able to make it back to this point? Like whether you still had this in you? Uh, I mean, it was there were it was tough. It was definitely tough. There were there were definitely difficult parts, and um, you know, I have doubted whether I wanted to do it anymore. Um, I doubted whether I was able to do it anymore. But for me, once I found out what was going on, it, it that lifted a huge weight. You know, like I found out three days before I fought Diego, and I mean that was one of the. That was the most difficult training camp I've ever had, you know? I mean, I, 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 uh, I shouldn't have been there. You know, I, I shouldn't have been in the octagon that night. Um, but uh, just knowing that I'm fighting this other thing, it, it put that thing in front of me, man. You know, it's like it, if a fighter doesn't have a fight coming up, they, sometimes they get out of the gym and they get fat and they, <laughs> and they don't do the right things, you know? So knowing that I had this opponent standing in front of me you know it's uh it's made it a lot easier for me to uh to make the right decisions and to uh you know to to eat right and to uh you know to to, to get my rest to get my rest in sure. so. becoming becoming the the first person in the history of the company to have 30 fights in the ufc does that mean anything to you it does mean something to me you know it's uh i i was hoping to be there a little bit earlier Honestly, uh, you know, I've been I've been shelled a little bit here and there, um, a couple times where you know they they postponed me um, to save me for like a you know New Jersey New York area card, um, where I'm pretty sure that I could have fought twice, you know. Um, so I, I feel like I could be at 32, 33 right now, but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's an accomplishment I'm really proud of. You know, um, it wouldn't be easy either way and it truly wasn't easy with the you know the way that I had to take and, and 
it's it's been awesome. It's, it really has. It's uh, it's almost been ten years with the organization, and uh, it's it's been amazing for me. How far do you want to take this now that you feel like you've kind of figured this out? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can if I can keep my body healthy. Um, I got a couple more years left in me. You know, I'm 35 as a lightweight. That's getting rather old. Um, but uh, like my jujitsu instructor says, I'm, I'm faster than I look. So <laughs> so hopefully I can uh, you know still keep that speed a little bit and and, and you know, keep competing with these guys. Were those were those nerves you said you had for your 30th walkout? Were, are those how how do those nerves compare to walkout number one, walkout number two? Like, do you remember those times? Yeah, I was a you know, <laughs> uh, one was easy. The first one was easy. You know, um, I've had I've had the opportunity. My my brother paved the way for me. You know, uh, he fought a month before me. Went out, steamrolled his opponent, and uh, it was like uh, that was the same thing with our first fight. He fought like two fights before me. Went out, choked his kid out. And uh, I found myself like skipping back to the room. I was like, oh, was, you know, like I'm so nervous for him. And then it's like, oh, you won, sweet. You know, and you're just like, all right, I got this. You know, this is easy. Um, I'd, I'd say that there was more, more nerves and pressure on me. You know, I handle it differently these days. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not nervous of the the unexpected. And that's the that's the biggest thing is you, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, uh, so I'm not I'm not nervous about that because pretty much everything. That can happen has happened. You know, I've I've uh, I've been in the, the the bloody battles and 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 dealt with it and stuff like that. And unfortunately, been you know knocked out pretty quick. But uh, uh, that wasn't the part of it. The part of it was just you know knowing that I needed to compete the way that I'm capable of and and I really freaking wanted to. You know, uh, it's uh, I, I expected most out of myself and and. When I haven't done it, it's, it's a letdown to me, and I don't, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. I'm, I'm going out there to, to perform for myself, and uh, I'm one of those guys that I'd probably fight if there wasn't a UFC card, if there wasn't UFC 228. You know, it's like, hey, you want to fight in the basement somewhere? You know, <laughs> hey, why not? Let's give it a shot. You know, like uh, it's just the it's it's the test. I like the test. Cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Congratulations. Appreciate it.